What's good everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Neil and today I have a little bit of a different video. I'm currently on my last day of uh, quarantine, so tomorrow I'm free, I can go out and train, I can get out of this room and whatnot. But uh, yeah, on Instagram this past week I asked uh, what my next video should be and I put up a poll between Q&A or a video of my sneakers, which are behind me, but Unfortunately, the sneakers did not win. It was the Q&A, so I'll be going through some of the questions that you guys sent me uh, in the last maybe five days. So uh, yeah, again, if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Come on, just help me out. Subscribe right here, there's a red button. And uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that like button because uh, it helps a lot. It helps push the videos out and more people will see it, which is what we need here. And uh, again, leave a comment down below. If there's any questions uh, that I didn't answer, like maybe you didn't see my IG and you maybe you wanted to leave a comment, you know, put it down below and I'll try and answer it as best as I can. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get to the questions. All right, so the first question uh, we have here is from... Selena Peak, uh, fellow badminton player. Who is your favorite Dutch badminton player? Oh, well, uh, I mean, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Selena Peak since, uh, you know, she's clearly following and she left a question in the question box. So I appreciate you, Selena. Robin, I know we had some good times in Warzone in the bubble, but. Uh, yeah, I guess Selena's taking this one home, so I'm gonna go with Selena Peak as my favorite Dutch badminton player. Okay, so the next question we have here is from the man, the myth, the legend, HK Vittinghus. Uh, HK had a phenomenal tournament, and uh, we had some good conversations of uh, about celebrations, and uh, he asked, What's your next big celebration on court going to be? Ice Cube. Uh, so if that time comes where I win a big match or, or anything, or even a tournament, yeah, let's start with a match. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, I really can't plan it that far ahead, but uh, I think uh, it'll be pretty tough to beat the, uh, the good old ice in the vein celebration. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to see for when the time comes and if that time comes. So yeah, stay tuned. Next question here is from Ivan underscore Monegro, Monegro underscore. Sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, it is, is it a good idea to focus on badminton more than focusing in school in Canada? Uh, um, I'm sure there's going to be mixed opinions on that, but uh, for me, badminton is something that you can only do in a certain period of time. Like once you get maybe to a certain age, your body won't be able to handle it. So uh, I felt that for me, badminton is what I love to do since I was young. So I knew from a young age that I was going to go for it. Thankfully, my parents supported it. Obviously, they want me to do well in school, but uh, I didn't listen clearly. I mean, I, I still did okay in school, but I definitely could have done a lot better. But yeah, it's just, you know, I look at I looked at it as I only have this time for badminton. If I want to go to school, I can go back. I can be the old guy in school later. If I need to go back, it'll always be there. But badminton is uh, more of like a right here, right now type of thing. So again, if, if it's really what you want and you're willing to put in everything for it, then uh, my opinion, my opinion only, I say go for it. Next question is from J, J underscore one I N, so, or J Lin. Uh, how long have you been training for? Uh, I've been training since I was 10, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say about 10 years old. I'm 27 now, so that's, I'd say 17 years. Uh, full time training, I didn't start until I was 19. 18 or 19 so out of high school will be full-time training and uh yeah i'd say it's a 
definitely things have changed from earlier days till now. I think kids now are training a lot more than I was when I was young. So uh, things could be different. Another one here we got is from Joyce Co out in Vancouver. Shout out Joyce, Biggie, and Adrian, the fam over in Vancouver. Your all time favorite bubble tea flavor. Uh, I'm gonna have to just go with, because it's the flavor that I get probably 90, 95% of the time, just a nice honey green milk tea. So if they have uh, like a green milk tea and if it's with honey that's preferred but if no honey and sugar then you know I'll still get it but I'll lighten up on the sugar I'll, I'll still lighten on the honey too but definitely honey green milk tea is my all-time favorite right now next one here we have from my liaison officer in Thailand when did you start playing badminton so I started playing when I was nine around nine years old not that serious, not really training. So I started training when I was 10, but I started playing when I was around eight or nine, I'd say. Okay, here we have another question from Prince BLNK or Prince Blink, maybe? I'm not sure. It is, what are your life goals? Oof, that's deep. That's a deep one. Um, yeah, just life goal is to eventually have a healthy family, uh, be financially stable. Yeah, just be happy. All right. I guess for everyone, it would be that the end of my life. I want to say that I did everything that that I could and everything that I wanted to do and that I lived it to, to the best I could. Next question from Shivani Lissetti. Dot Lissetti 0163. How have you motivated yourself to improve in badminton over time? Uh, I'd say just being from, from Canada, we're not known as a very strong country. Although I think over time and right now we've slowly developed and we've been able to kind of put ourselves on the map. We've been able to compete with some of the, <clears throat> some of the rest of the world. So it's just always, you know, looking at ourselves as an underdog, uh, always knowing that if you're not number one, then there's definitely always something to improve on. Even if you are number one, you have to, you know, you have to stay at the top shape. You have to still get better so that, you know, you don't want anyone else to catch up to you. For me personally, it's just thinking like, I'm always, I always have something to improve on because I'm not the best. I'm clearly not the best. So uh, yeah, that's how I look at it. Next one from, Arif Gifar, shout out to Gifar. Uh, when you gonna marry? Oof. Yeah, can't give you an answer on that one, but can't give you an answer. I don't even have a girlfriend, dude. Come on. Next one, Steven underscore Stallwood, the stall bag. Shout out to the UK homies over there. Uh, you'd quit badminton to become a full-time COD streamer if you earned enough. Uh, I'm assuming that's a, an assumption because I asked for questions and assumptions about me. And uh, you assumed right. Uh, if I were to choose right now and I could make, actually I wouldn't quit badminton. I probably wouldn't quit badminton because I, I don't think I can sit here and play that long. My hips get so tired from sitting here for too long but uh, i would definitely take up being a cod streamer if i was earning like like bank i mean like if i could just like live off that dude next one is another assumption from tyc badminton wow it says you're tall in height <laughs> okay no comment <laughs> just kidding uh i'm not i'm not tall i don't know who would assume that because i look short and stumpy um i'm only like i'm no i don't even think i'm five foot seven i'm like five foot six and like maybe three quarters so i'm not that tall definitely one of the shortest guys out there on tour that's for sure every time i step on court with like the china towers those guys and like danes and man it's just it's overwhelming uh, another assumption from TYC Badminton, you're single. <laughs> I 
you're right. <laughs> I am uh, very single. All right, next one from ChuckoPie76. What's your take on the drive serve? Dude, I love it. Um, I think that it, it uh, brings a whole new aspect to the game. You can get into people's heads mentally. It drives me crazy. It probably drives the person crazy if I do it. I know I used, I've used it for sure. And I've seen everyone use it. So I just think it's an, a new part of the game that everyone's gonna have to get accustomed to. So yeah, I'm all for it. All right, coming to my last page here. I have these pulled up on my screen. Uh, this is my last page here. Maybe six more questions or assumptions. Okay, I don't think this is either of them, but he just wanted to say this is uh, from Jason L. Mack. <sighs> you won me 50 bucks. So thanks. Nice. I'm glad I could be of service. <laughs> Next one po Pocha, po Pochaco, po Pochaco Power, po Pocha. Pochaco. What? Po, po, I don't know. Pochaco power. No disrespect to Jason, but dream partner in their prime. Also your all-time NBA starting five. Ooh. Okay. Uh, dream partner in their prime. In their prime, in their prime. Oh, who was my favorite player? I'm gonna have to go with KKK. If you don't know who KKK is, that is Ku Ken Cat of Malaysia. Biggest showman crazy talent exudes confidence style which is i don't know i could just i feel like i just have to hit the bird from the back and then just let him do everything in the front so it'd be a lot of fun and for the top starting top five or all-time nba starting five i'm not a huge basketball person for me for who i remember i'd go like ai alan iverson Steph, AI, Steph, Kobe, mm, power for Durant, and Shaq. Yeah, I guess that would be my five. Okay, next one from AUK underscore, long underscore, 82. Professional badminton players life in Canada. Uh, I don't think you can call us professional because most of us are not really earning anything as we have to fund everything ourselves. Just badminton, like let's say international badminton players in Canada. Uh, you know, we train. Okay, this is for myself. I train, come home, I eat. I either take a nap or I'm just on my computer. Train again, come back. I eat, I shower, some video games maybe. Yeah, that's, that's not all that. There's not much to it. I'm sure if you ask other players, they, they might have other things. You know, some of them have, maybe not in Canada, but other players in the world have families. Um, but for the most part, or the Canadian ones, some of us are in, some of them are in school. Uh, shout outs to those ones that are doing school right now, which is crazy, I can't do that. But yeah, that's uh, mostly it. It's just training, eating, sleeping. Next one from Prisha. Best match. Um, probably the one I like to go back and watch the most is our Sudirman Cup last match against Singapore. It was two all in the tie, men's doubles, against our, our friends from Singapore, uh, Kanhan and Danny. Just so we just, I, I feel like after watching the video so many times, you can just see it. Like I was so focused, we were so focused, so driven in that match. Not sure if it's because like we really wanted to beat them because you know we were gonna see them the following week after we went to Singapore after and we trained with them so you know we didn't want to get roasted when we got there so we got to like get that dub in and uh, you know we could talk a little smack when we start training with them <laughs> but uh, it's all good fun with them they're cool guys uh, but that was probably my most memorable or best match felt like we played pretty good yeah that was definitely one of the biggest matches because you know it won us the group. It basically won us the group stage, I think, because that was like the closest uh, tie we had. Okay, and rounding it off with the last question from Awang, Awangutang. <laughs> nice name. Hot pot, Korean barbecue, boba, get rid of one. <laughs> oh, why you gotta do me like that, dog? Boba stays, bubble tea. 
us East Coast, we're not West Coast. Bubble tea stays. Hmm. Hot pot or Korean barbecue, one's gotta go. I'm gonna have to say hot pot. Cause every, I don't know, it's almost like every time I have hot pot, I don't know if it's cause of the, the spice or, or what. My stomach the next day or like a couple hours after, you know, I gotta, I gotta drop the kids off. So and it makes my, my stomach like get a little bit uncomfortable, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm gonna have to say hot pot's gotta go. Well, I love it still, I'll still eat it. But uh, even though I like I'll, beforehand, I know going into it that my stomach's gonna feel like doo doo after, I'll still do it. But Korean barbecue though, unlimited, all you can eat, grilled meats, Oof, it's protein galore right there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I I hope I answered your questions thoroughly enough. Uh, I didn't get that that many questions. I'm not a I'm not a popular guy, so. Uh, but thank you to those who did send a question. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, and if you aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. Let's grow this this bad boy up. Uh, smash that like and uh, leave a comment. If you had a question that didn't get featured in here, just leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll I'll definitely reply because I, I tried my best to reply to all the comments. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe doing like a shirt giveaway at 500. If y'all push me to 500 subs, bro. Bro, push me to 500 subs, I'll give away like three shirts or something. Might be hard if you're like international, but definitely if you're in Canada, I can definitely hook that up. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.